Hi everybody, this is not a sponsored video. My name is Inder and I'll be showcasing an app which helps you update your Mac apps and your audio plugins in AU and VST formats. Mac Updater 2 I've been using this app for some time to update my Mac apps, but with the new version, it's even more powerful. If you're on Mac and you've been making music using any of the DAWs like Logic, Ableton, Bitwig, Reason, Fruity Loops, Studio One, Cubase, Reaper, then we all start with the factory plugins, the instruments, and slowly, slowly we start acquiring more and more free and paid plugins from different sources. Over the period of time, new music producers and professional audio studios will have a lot of audio plugins in their collection. Audio units lie in this folder, VSTs here and VST3s here. In Mac, there is no inbuilt app to scan and update these audio plugins. If you do a simple Google, you'll find there's nothing, no app which scans these audio plugins or tells you how to update them. Usually I receive an email from my plugin developer informing me about an updated version. Then I either go to their website or use their installer if they have one. But sometimes you would never receive an email about any version update. If you have more than 200 or 300 plugins, then this task can be very time consuming. But in the Mac Updater 2's Pro Edition, I saw something which was that it scans audio unit plugins and VSTs. During my initial run through, I did not find AX support on this plugin. So simply go to the website and download this app. It's free initially. Then within the app, you can purchase the Pro Edition of Mac Updater 2. I went for the alternative route of on-demand scan. It has many features. It tells you about the latest updates and the plugins that are outdated. It lets you ignore certain updates or plugins altogether. It has its own Discover tab with very famous apps. On the trial version, you'll find that initially it only scans applications that are in your application folder. Some of uh, the audio production apps have standalone versions and they will come up here. And other normally used apps are uh, easily updatable within its user interface. With one simple click, you can update these apps. I went in for uh, Playbeat by Audio Modern, uh, which I had to manually update. So within the uh, standalone version, there is no provision to update this. I went to the website, entered my login details, and in my download section, I downloaded the entire package, which will have its standalone version and its audio unit and VST. And as you can see, my app and my audio plugins are now updated. Under the hood, there are many settings for you to change and fiddle around. They're very useful. You'll find that you can make backup of your previous apps as well. It can ignore your apps altogether or your updates you can display the date of the new version and the installed version. It's good for comparison. Within the app, there's an option to purchase. I went ahead and I wanted to purchase the Pro Edition. I was excited about audio plugin scanning and I upgraded to the new version. In India, I couldn't buy it due to the VAT restrictions, but I recently shifted to another country. And simply after buying I ran my first scan. It took some time, but then it showed me all my outdated apps in terms of audio plugins, audio units, VST and VST3s. 
MPEG SVTVR Classic Amp. They didn't have any info about it. But it showed that it was outdated. I went to the website, just copied the web address and uh, reported that this particular plugin is from this company. I think I just did this initially so that later whenever they have under the hood update option available, it will be available to all the users and it will be very beneficial. I went ahead and installed it from its installer. And then I simply rescanned that particular audio plugin and it removed it from the outdated apps. I usually keep all my plugins uh, updated, but with this app, it became even more easier. I could update Reaper within the app with just one click. So as you can see, it's very easy to update all your apps and audio plugins just using one single app, which I think is brilliant and time saving. The new version was updated recently and I went ahead and checked the version number and the release date. So the app has very intelligent algorithm where it checks the version numbers of different apps and plugins. My bias FX was outdated. I updated the bias FX standalone from the app and it was simple. But as some of you might know that BiasFX wants you to download two different versions, one for the standalone and one for the AU and VST. So I went uh, to BiasFX Positive Grid website, downloaded the installer, hoping in the near future I'll be able to update these straight from Mac Updater 2. There was no mail from Positive Grid about the new version. So sometimes it's just easy and it saves time. Otherwise, when you launch that plugin within your DAW, you're notified that an update is available. I execute my planned maintenance and updates every first and 15th day of the month. The version downloaded matches the Mac updater's newest version. Fantastic. There are many app developers who don't inform their users about the new versions being released. In that case, this app is very powerful and helpful. So now all my bias FX components, VST, VST3, they are updated. Core code team has done an amazing job with Mac updater. I urge you to try Mac Updater 2's Pro Edition and keep all your Mac apps and audio plugins up to date. Take care and thanks for your support.